Hello all, this is my first video on deep learning in JavaScript. We know how to train deep learning models in Python. Now let's try to do the same in HTML and JavaScript. In the next 5 minutes you will get a brief overview with example how to train a simple neural network and make prediction for a given argument simulating a linear regression. We have a simple HTML file right here which will do all the magic job inside. I will use TensorFlow JavaScript library for this. Let's open it and write our code. HTML tag at the top and bottom. In the heat section, I don't have to put anything. Leave it empty. Body tag produce what we see on the browser screen directly. Let's put some quick text in the heating one here. Now is the time to load TensorFlow JavaScript package into the browser. Let's load it as script from external address. Here is the latest TensorFlow JavaScript library. Let's copy and paste address which we will use for our training and predictions. Simple as that. The second script will run the training and prediction inside. Specify that the language of script is JavaScript. Let's define a function that will be responsible for training. It is do training. One of the major advantages of JavaScript is that everything is asynchronous. For the most part, uh, different parts of your code do not affect the execution of others. That's why we make this function asynchronous. Ok, we have declared the training function. Leave it empty for now. Before building up the training engine, let's define some data that our training process will be ingested by. We need to define xset and iset. That will be a linear regression problem for which we will make prediction. So our x values will be a simple TensorFlow 2T tensor. 2D tensor technically consists of two parts, values in list and shape. Let's put some random values in the first part here. We have 6 values, so the shape will be 6 by 1. Let's define i set in the same way. Replace values by these ones, the shape of this data is the same. Before diving into training, we have one more thing to do. Declare our prediction model. It will be very simple sequential neural network with only one dense layer. And this layer will have only one node. Input shape will be one of course. Let's compile our model with loss of mean square error. This works the best with linear regression and optimizer will be a stochastic gradient descent. The keyword will be CHD. When we have some data and model defined, let's build a function that will perform training and output result in browser console. Let's define the variable history. That will store prediction data, epochs and loss. Use a wait expression which causes a synchronous function to pause until a promise is settled and to resume of the async function after fulfillment. So by having some data we can to ingest it to the model like here. Let's set 500 epochs for training. I think it will be more than enough and callbacks will return interactive result to the browser console. So when a single epoch ends, we will send data of epochs and logs asynchronously to the console. Here construct your output as you want by returning some training data with epochs and loss.
Let's look how our HTML file looks like in the browser right now. Nothing right now. Ok, firstly try to return model summary to that console firstly. And the summary of console is in front of your eyes. Total parameters equal to 2. Here are one node with weight and bias values, so that y is only 2. No training happens, because we did not call training function in our script. Let's do it now. The main argument is our model, nothing special here. And then, when we have our model trained, we can make a new prediction. The argument for prediction will be a tensorflow 2D tensor, the same as xset type. So we have two parts of tensor again, value and shape. For this video, let it be equal to 10, and shape is 1 by 1, because we want to get i value just by giving 1 x value. Come back to the browser and see what's happened. Training is going on with 500 epochs defined in a function, that's good. And the prediction is approximately 19. If you put the values on x and i sets on the plot, you will see that prediction works well. If you are interested in machine learning and deep learning models deployment in browser, I suggest you to uh, try this Coursera course and you'll find how to use a TensorFlow JavaScript library and uh, you'll also know how to create a convolutional neural network in JavaScript, how to using a sprite sheet and about uh, image classification in browser. In the week number three you will learn how to convert models to JSON format and also you will use uh, image classification using mobile net and uh, also you will get uh, some graded exercises uh, for example converting a python model to javascript then, then on the last week uh, uh, you will learn how to retrain the mobile net model and capturing the data performing inference from the webcam feed uh, it's also very cool uh, courses on Coursera and let's try it. This is the courses what I'm taking right now and uh, if I find any topics were interesting I will share this on my YouTube channel. So. so what we have done in this video? We have just trained a very simple neural network in the browser with JavaScript by using TensorFlow JavaScript library. It's very cool when you want to deploy machine learning and deep learning models directly in your browser for mobile phones, for end user, and so on. So I hope this is very useful for very beginners in this topic, in this domain, like me, and never stop learning, and see you on the next videos. Bye-bye.